Hope you are all well. I am in your prayers. I actually made this video in Bengali by mistake. I made a video on this topic long ago. There was a request to make a new one, so I tried to make the video a little late. With your love and prayers, our channel has become a family of 7000 subscribers. In this way, if your prayers and love are with me, then I may be able to go much further. I will try to talk about the problems that I could not discuss in the previous videos in this video. This time I will try to solve the problems that I could not solve in the previous videos. Even then, many things may be wrong, many things may be missed, so please feel free to comment if I miss anything. Today I will show you how to install free PBX software through a virtual environment. In that case I will use a virtual environment called Proxmox. Now the place you see on your screen is the free PBX control panel. After the successful installation of the free PBX software you will get such a control panel. After successful installation you will get a control panel like this which has a lot of module and you have to set up it yourself. I will just show you how to install it today. The virtual environment I am using today for free PBX installation is called Proxmox. To install the free PBX software, first we need to download the installation ISO file. That's why we will go straight to the free PBX download website. We can easily find it by searching on Google and from there it can be downloaded very easily. I have already downloaded the video to shorten it. So I'm going straight to the actual installation. You can now see I'm in the Proxmox dashboard and you can see I have downloaded the ISO file here. There is no need to use Proxmox. You can directly install it on your PC. In that case you need to convert the ISO file to a bootable drive. Then you can easily install it as shown here. Since I am using Proxmox here I need to create a virtual machine. For that reason I will create a virtual machine here by clicking on the create VM icon. Now I will give a name for the virtual machine here and then click on next. Then mark the downloaded ISO file as OS. Then click on next button. Then you have to select the system configuration of the virtual machine. In this case I will not make any changes here. Here I have selected 32 GB of space as hard disk and specified my SSD hard drive. You can install it on your conventional hard drive if you want. Here I have specified a CPU with two cores as CPU in virtual machine. It's not that two core CPU is needed here you can use one core CPU here if you want. I have used two core CPU here because it will be used for voice so I have used two core CPU here to make it performance a bit better. I have used 4 GB RAM here you can use a little more if you want as this will be used for VOIP so it is better to have a little more RAM. There is no need to make any changes to network settings or anything else. Now we will start our created virtual machine from Proxmox main control panel. After that follow the steps shown by me and install free PBX. Here you can see an installation menu has appeared. From this menu you have to select the first option and enter. In the next option you have to select the graphical installation option and enter. After that you have to enter on free PBX standard. Then you have to wait for some time. This is where your main installation process begins. Here first of all you need to complete network and host name settings. That is why we will now start working on the network settings here. If you are using dynamic connection then nothing needs to be done here. But my suggestion is that you use static connection in this case. In that case, when you want to control your free PBX control panel from outside with your IP, you can do it very easily. You need to have at least a little networking knowledge to accomplish this task. In that case you can easily understand what I have done here. Here I have given my static connection IP and subnet mask to the IPS they control. Here I made a small mistake. When I gave the IP address I mistook the IP address with my gateway. So here a small error was showing. In that case I would say these places do the job very carefully. If everything is given correctly, turn off the Ethernet once and then turn it on. Then we'll start the installation and set the root password there. And then wait for the whole system to copy the installation files. In this case, I hope it may take some time. So my suggestion would be to wait patiently for some time in this case. 
So far we are done and after reboot we will be able to use free PBX. Here we have to log in with root password. Here you can see an IP address, this IP address I have set up during network setting, if you are using dynamic IP then your IP address will show here, you have to log in from that IP. I will now log in through this IP address, and complete the free PBX setting step by step, in that case you have to be patient to see the whole thing.